Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is suhaib and you are watching wrestling fact top 10 superstars who reject their dream matches number 10 stone cold steve austin refused cm punk if it feels like this dream match was close to happening it's because it was if stone cold was ever going to came back for one more match it would be for cm punk but no matter how hard punk pushed for it ultimately it never came to fraction it was mostly due to austin refusal to come out of retirement the promos and build up to this would have been epic no of sense to chris jericho but can we imagine if at wrestlemania fans got john cena versus rock and cm punk versus stone cold number 9 hulk hogan was Bret Hart Bret Hart has gotten the shift quite a bit when it comes to backstage WWE politics the montreal school job is the obvious one but back in the earlier 90s hulk hogan refused to pass the previously torch to the hitman the wrestlemania 9 ending the decal was agreed open with promise that hurt good face hulk hogan and reclaim his wwe championship at summerslam later that year hogan instant did the job to yokozuna when he forced vince to cancel the planned match against bret hart because he didn't think they were on the same level number 8 shawn michaels versus aj styles this is another case of a retired wrestler turning down the opportunity to face a dream opponent it's a shame down michaels was willing to come back for a tag team match with youngest participant being 49 instant one on one match against phenomenal one their aj styles pun instant would match perfectly as both aj and hbk were superiorly athlete high flying performance whole who elevate their opponents with their fantastic selling and in ring physiology this match would still find a way to steal the show if it happened today number 7 brock lesnar versus matt riddle riddle bless his soul tried to make a match with brock happen by claiming he should be the one to retire him on twitter Riddle did this on multiple occasion to the point where Brock and his advocate Paul Heyman report the issues backstage at Royal Rumble 2020 claiming the match would never happen. Number 6 CM Punk vs Triple H This is actually a dream match fans got to see but under less than ideal documents WWE had one of the hottest angles with the summer of punk but they unfortunately it when they involved Triple H and Kevin Nash for some reason after getting screwed out of the his title punk would compete against triple h at bppv which he would loss he would regain the wwe title and hold it for well over year punk was upset at the way he was booked in particular about how he never main evented at wrestlemania he was offered chance to wrestle the game as one of the main events of wrestlemania triple x that punk decided to walk out instead number 5 the rock versus shawn michaels it's no secret that the shawn michaels we know and love today wasn't excellent and ideal co-worker back in the 90s i have been speculated that he reputation and backstage pull were the reason we never got to see him face off against the great one the locker room was cut out back then and shawn was rumored to be less than appreciate of rising youngster potentially talking his or young buddy triple h place the rock never forget as he refused to work with shawn michaels open his return to wrestling in the earlier 2000 number 4 stone cold steve austin versus hulk hogan the two biggest star in wrestling history we are in the same company at the same time right around wrestlemania season and they didn't face each other this was the reality back in 2020 i mean 2002 when stone cold steve austin turned down the chance to stun hulk hulkmania 
many reasons have floated around as to why the Texas rattlesnake refused their were rumors he didn't want to deal with Hogan's notorious ego and politicking. Jim Ross recently shed some light on the matter, explaining how Austin thought their styles wouldn't mesh and how they wouldn't have chemistry. Number 3 Sting vs. Kurt Angle Everyone wants Sting vs. Undertaker and another match Sting vs. Kurt Angle. But the wrestling legend Sting refused Kurt Angle. In 2002, Vince was attempted to lecture Sting to the company by offering him a matchup against Kurt Angle at WrestleMania X8. Sting definitely considered it but ultimately refused the match and the contract because he didn't want to commit to WWE recreous travel schedule. Although the two did end up facing each other in TNA, Sting vs. Kurt Angle at Mania wouldn't have been awesome. Number 2. Shawn Michaels vs. Daniel Bryan The teacher vs. student It's funny how Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan shared a similar career path, both coming out of retirement following serious injuries there where report WWE was trying to capitalize on the Yes Movement's popularity by bringing in Bryan's trainer for an epic matchup. But Shawn Michaels refused the match choosing to stay retired at the time but the two did have a confirmation on an episode of